Fraser Fletcher from the Football Insider has confirmed Arsenal have agreed their personal terms with Declan Rice. That is their exclusive story this morning. We're going to delve into that in more detail. Bayern Munich, though, reports from Germany say there is an 80% chance that they will sign him. We're also going to take a look at Harry Maguire, Tottenham circling, and now Aston Villa have made concrete interest clear. They want to sign the Manchester United captain and England centre-back as well. Big breaking stories for you this morning. Hit the like and the share button. By the way, make sure you scan the QR code and go download our latest top six podcast right now. Let's do it, people. Let's go. Declan Rice, the saga that began at the end of the January 2023 window. A player that has been tipped with leaving, tipped with exiting Arsenal, uh, West Ham now, sorry, for about two years. Today plays what many believe to be his final game for West Ham. He could join a very small but illustrious group of West Ham players and West Ham captains to win a major trophy. What's a fitting and honourable way to exit a football club? Perfectly. And me, like many others, will be behind Declan Rice and West Ham tonight. Now, what's the story of Arsenal? Let's look at this now. This comes from the Football Insider, Fraser Fletcher. Fraser Fletcher, who is a very credible up-and-coming young journalist, it's stated here that, that West Ham captain Declan Rice has verbally agreed personal terms with Arsenal ahead of a potential summer move. It says, however, the 24-year-old is yet to agree uh, is yet to be agreed. Uh, sorry, a fee for the 24-year-old is yet to be agreed between the two clubs. We know that. He said a well-placed source has told the Football Insider that the situation remains changeable, but Rice has said yes to Arsenal's project and the club's proposal and wants to remain in London. Now, that is a claim from the Football Insider. Now, for some of you, you will say, well, Terry, people were reporting this in March that he had agreed personal terms. And he did. He verbally agreed in March to the salary, the bonuses, the squad position, the system, of which, the, 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 the role he would have within the system of Mikel Arteta. And he has reiterated again and again, his preference is to remain in London. So for some of you, this will not be new news. It is just a Another update. For some people, they'll look at it as, well, Arsenal have re-established their position of authority by going back to the Arsenal camp and saying, look, you agreed in March. This is still our offer. We know that Bayern Munich and Man United and Chelsea are circling. They're making you offers. Do you still agree to our terms? And it appears, according here to Fraser Fletcher from the Football Insider, that they still have an agreement. Now, remember to read articles in full because it does state that the situation <coughs> excuse me, is changeable. Bayern Munich could offer a better deal than Arsenal. Man United could offer a better deal than Arsenal. Verbally agreeing personal terms is not the same as signing a contract. A done deal between clubs is not the same as a completed deal. We have hundreds of examples every single summer of players and clubs at the 11th hour changing their minds. So there's always a chance it doesn't complete. But it's about who's winning the race, what's what's positive right now. Also surrounding Declan Rice, I want to go to it. I'm going to refer to a tweet I saw this morning. And I'll make sure I read this out right. I don't want to get it wrong. Uh, wait, where is it here? Where is it here? Where is it here? So it's it's regarding Bayern Munich and their pursuit of Rice. Now, what's very intriguing about this, this comes from uh, Patrick Straza, who is a Bayern Munich reporter, uh, Bundesliga reporter as well. And he states and he claims that Declan Rice is leaning towards a move to Bayern Munich. That's the German stance on this. Declan Rice is expected to be Bayern's most expensive transfer ever. The current transfer probability is 80%. So whether that's they are 
the heavy favourites or whether they believe there's an 80% chance they'll get him. I mean, Arsenal might think they've got a 95% chance of getting him. They may, they're all the clubs may believe they've got a high probability of getting him. Don't quite know the context of that. But Germany are still, the German media, I mean, are still pushing this notion that Bayern Munich is the place for him. Bayern Munich are going to sign him. Bayern Munich are his preferred destination. It's going to be intriguing to see which way this goes. <clears throat> He's a top-class player. I know some people don't rate him, but the fact Man United and Chelsea and Bayern Munich and Arsenal all want him tells you there is a player in there. Now, again, we may not see it. Maybe it isn't your preference, but I think too much of football analysis now from fans is preference over fact, feelings over fact, opinion over fact. And it's my opinion that it's factual, that Declan Rice is a top, 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 top player. So it's going to be interesting to see which way this goes. I want your opinions. I want your views. Will Arsenal get this deal done? Could Bayern Munich steal him away? Could there be a sting in the towel from Chelsea or Man United? Let us know in the comments section below. Now, the Maguire situation is really interesting as well. And I want to pick up on this. One, I'm excited about the prospects of Maguire leaving Man United. Why would I not be? Why would I not be? I'd be, I'd be a fool. I'd be a fool. I'd be a fool to, to not be interested. First of all, we know Tottenham concrete interest. The new manager, Big Ange, I think they call him Big Ange, is a fan. He is a fan. The club are going to start to hold conversations with Man United very, very soon, according to some sources. Aston Villa now are also throwing their hat into the mix. I want to read this passage here from uh, that, that's shown here by the At United plug and a few other um, outlets. It says that Aston Villa's interest in, in Harry Maguire is also concrete. They want to sign him this summer as part of their big spending spree. Now, what's very, very interesting is both Tottenham and a, uh, Aston Villa appear very willing to part with a considerable amount of money for Harry Maguire. Now, I'm going to keep the same energy. I don't want him at Man United anymore. I, I think he's that, that ship has sailed. But do I think there's a player in there? Yeah, I, I do. I still think. There's a very, the very famous scene in the Karate Kid 3. So the, first he beats Johnny Lawrence in one, goes to Okinawa and fights to the death in two. And number three kind of comes back and starts a bonsai business with uh, Mr. Miyagi before fighting um, Barnes in the All Valley Tournament. And there's a famous scene where they're turning non-bonsais into bonsais. And Daniel LaRusso can't do it. Can't find it. Can't see where the bonsai is. And there's a very famous scene where Mr. Miyagi turns around and says that the bonsai is there, but just like you, Daniel, son, your best karate is still inside. The bonsai is still inside. And I think that is Harry Maguire. I think his best football is still inside. And I'll verbatim say what Mr. Miyagi said. Now time you let out. Love those films. One of my heroes, Mr. Miyagi, as well. What a legend. But I think there's a player in there. Legitimately. I think there is a player in there still. Not an 85 million pound player. Not a world-class centre-back. But a top-level pro. And at a new club that wants him, with confidence and maybe the bit between his teeth, Harry Maguire, I think for Spurs or Aston Villa, could be a considerably brilliant signing. Considerably brilliant signing. And I hope that it happens for him, for them, and for Manchester United. And take that money and invest it in Kim Min Jae. Yes, a superior player, but an individual that will come in, I think, have the confidence to carry himself forward. Maguire doesn't want to be fifth choice at Man United. I don't want him coming on the pitch for two more minutes. His confidence at this club is shot. The fans are not bought into him anymore. Let's make everybody happy. Villa or Spurs, whichever one of you wants to do it, make everybody happy and get this deal done. But my question to you, the audience, how much do you think he's worth? And what should Man United demand as a transfer fee? Let me know in the comments section below. I'm very intrigued to get your views and your opinions on that. Remember to start downloading our podcast weekly. Set it to auto-download on Spotify. Uh, the fact you ain't set that up yet is crazy to me. Scan the QR code or click on the link in our description to go and get that done. 
Until next time, people, take care of yourselves. Goodbye. God bless. And I'll be seeing you all again soon.